Thank you. Thank you, Dave, uh, for your kind introduction. Um, I'm going to talk about difficulty score. I have nothing to disclose. Uh, we hosted a consensus meeting uh, in Morioka, Japan. It was a great success, and um, many people gathered, and uh, many papers uh, came after this consensus meeting. But the most important message from this consensus meeting was to protect the patient from this newly developed techni technology by using uh, difficulty score. Uh, Hoson Han and me and the great ski fan, <laughs> we always follow this instruction. Beginners can never get inside a difficult terrain, so we do the same to select the patient according to your skill sets. So this was the original one, and but uh, we discuss about this. If we place uh, some hand or hybrid technique for this type of difficult case, because the tumor hepatic cell carcinoma located between the middle hepatic vein and right hepatic vein, so maybe better to have a hand for your safety, for your patient safety. And but you can do this uh, under pneumothorax pressure. Hepatic cell carcinoma can be nicely removed with um, a little zero margin for uh, veins because the hepatic carcinoma has a capsule usually and if you have a hand inside abdominal cavity that your hand makes you feel much comfortable and safer if something wrong happened maybe you can use your hand as you like anyway uh, this type of cellular carcinoma can be removed with hand-assisted technique. So we discussed at the con consensus meeting, uh, like uh, hand-assist or hybrid may reduce the score, maybe one point or two point. And both veins are naturally visualized. And also hybrid technique. We started hybrid technique for uh, donor hepatectomy because we felt that was safe, safer with your uh, hybrid technique, but now we shifted towards a totally laparoscopic because hands sometimes uh, obstructing your view. So I think uh, the clear view is much safer and easier to do uh, things. So we did a validation study using uh, uh, 1800 da data collected from a Japanese Surgical Society. It was published at JAX uh, last year, and we found a conversion rate and blood loss and operation time and um, complication rate are very much correlate with this difficulty score. And also in our country, high volume center do more difficult case, but in contrast, low volume center start with an easier case. So that's a very nice, I believe, in our country. So, but we needed to up, up version uh, index based difficult score because the uh, original one did not have 11 and 12 score. And uh, we have to divide segment four, A and B, and also we didn't include a spiegel lobe in the original one. And uh, as we discussed in the Mori Morioka, uh, we uh, scored minus one for a hybrid and house technique. So now many difficult score came up to the uh, literature and IMM score, uh, brisk Gaia. Oh, they use a very procedure-based difficulty score, very simple way, grade one, low level, grade two, intermediate, segmentectomy, left hepatectomy, and grade three, high level, segmentectomy, right, extended right, right, posterior sectionectomy, central, bisectionectomy, extended left. So this procedure-based difficulty score was also validated using um, uh, our Japanese study group of endoscopic liver surgery, and it, this is in submission, so, but I can a little bit in, uh, introduce this data. So Japanese cohort, 867 cases, and IMM cohort, we did a mutual validation, and also conversion rate, and operation time, operation time, and blood loss correlates with this uh, uh, validation, uh, these two uh, uh, two uh, difficulty score are nicely validated with these, these two different cohort. Also, we created the novel model for 
prediction for pure laparoscopic resection, surgical difficulty. We estimated uh, surgical time by uh, using uh, factors, so, and we found out extent of resection, non-anatomical uh, lap liver surgery gets zero point, anatomical two, segmentectomy three, a major hepatectomy also. This kind of a location of tumor also, uh, point zero, one, two, a uh, difficulty place, uh, segment seven and eight gets two point. And also we found the BMI effect. So BMI, zero. Uh, less than 30, uh, most Japanese uh, patients uh, less than 30, but uh, BMI affect one, and plated counts also affect. So this uh, simple uh, difficulty score also can uh, discriminate some kind of a different difference, low, medium, high, and we validate in our, uh, our own uh, uh, patient. But uh, we need to validate this uh, score too. Uh, let me talk a little bit about uh, standardization because the standardization is a key uh, for the safety of this surgery. So you have to standardize uh, what you're using, uh, energy device. You have energy device. So energy device has a cutting uh, ability and the hemostatic ability. So what you're using is uh, more a hemostatic device or cutting device. I use uh, many, uh, many uh, you know, energy devices, but uh, I always standardize in my mind uh, what I'm using is now it is uh, cutting or stop bleeding. CUSA is kind of a suction, in my opinion. CUSA, you can suction, you can use a suction as a suction, and also uh, you can visualize uh, intraparenchymal structure hidden inside the uh, liver cells. You can, you can suck, suction the liver cells to visualize intraparenchymal structure. And also, I moved hospital twice, and uh, I'd like to all our nurses uh, don't be confused, uh, get not confused. So I'd like to standardize even for right and left side liver resection. I always use the same position, uh, legs are closed, and uh, my right hand is uses all the cutting device, energy devices. My left hand always uses bipolar forceps to stop bleeding. So this is a. Uh, kind of a typical difficult case. It's a coronary liver metastasis. Three metastasis locates a segment A mainly. And it also has a kind of a, you know, we can leave some part of a segment A dosal part. Then you have a very much limited anatomical resection, parenchyma sparing. Segment A mainly, but you can leave a dosal side of a segment eight. And also segment five is very small for this patient, so we sacrifice segment five for easier surgery. So this patient, segment eight, five point, and four point, and one point, tumor size larger, and it's invaded also a branch of right hepatic vein. So it, uh, we, we didn't use a house hybrid, so this, pa uh, this patient gets 10, 11, so very difficult case. I will show you the case uh, video in four minutes. So I use uh, bipolar scissors to have a, a Grisonian approach, ex extra hepatic Grisonian approach. This is one branch goes to segment five and divide it. I try to preserve a liner capsule, but this patient does not have a liner capsule because, I mean, a thin liner capsule because of the patient uh, received a chemo, uh, chemo liver is uh, not good to show a, li a liner capsule. Usually, um, hepatitis or cirrhotic liver show has a thicker liner capsule. Liner capsule covers the parenchyma. Then you can create some um, space between the grison and cheese and the liner capsule. So now segment five is divided. Then we found three, actually four, grison and pedicle in uh, segment eight. So we can leave one segment, uh, this one, this one is a dosal side of a segment eight, so we preserve the dosal side of segment eight, but uh, we take uh, three of uh, other segment eight degrees. On. Then the surge cells is a good to place to stop bleeding, of course, and also during uh, ultrasonogram, it is really, you know, marking the uh, place where I take this grison pedicle. This grison pedicle is going to be ligated. 
Then I place a bulldog clamp. Then I ask anesthesiologist to uh, infuse, inject in the cyanine green, one milliliter, 2.5 milligram. Then we have a nice demarcation line between posterior sector and anterior sector. As you can see, the margin between anterior sector and posterior sector is uh, not straight. It's a really zigzag. You can follow this uh, demarcation line. So ICG technology is very much helpful to identify this perfusion area and perfused area. So in my opinion, anatomical resection, not leaving any unperfused area, it is much better. And also, Hoson Han and Crowley's Conrad show the nice data. If you remove every unperfused area in the remnant liver, you will have a better disease-free survival, even in hepatocellular carcinoma and colorectal liver metastasis. So parenchymal transection can be done like a cramp crush method or QSA. If I, I am facing a, a vein or grison, I use QSA. QSA is much safer, easier. So middle hepatic vein is uh, visualized because those main hepatic vein is a border between anterior sector and the posterior sector. Then I middle hepatic vein is exposed uh, almost uh, freely and this is a V8 and this is a V5. So both of the vein are clipped and divided. Even though this is a correct demand metastasis, but I decided to perform anatomical resection, but it's a limited anatomical resection. That means a parenchyma sparing limited anatomical resection. So finally, these three grison and pedicle goes to segment eight, leaving the dorsal side of a segment eight is going to be staple. Then the uh, only thing, the last thing I do is uh, visualize the right hepatic vein because this right hepatic vein is a border between anterior sector and posterior sector. But uh, again, I preserve those side of segment A, so it's a shining area, it's a perfusion area, so we have to preserve this area. But uh, again, for, uh, for repeat hepatectomy, I don't mobilize the liver. So I use a hanging tape to have a back margin, a little bit pulling towards the cranial to a dorsal uh, ventral, uh, caudal side. So this is a resected specimen. The tumor is almost invading the uh, right, uh, middle of the, one of the branch of the uh, right of the veins. We created the laparoscopic, uh, International Laparoscopic Liver Society. And the first meeting was held in Paris last year. It was a great success. And uh, around 400, uh, 500 people gathered in a big plenary room as a full of people. And Professor Tanabe and I will be hosting the uh, next one in Tokyo next year, May 9 to 11. And uh, we have uh, at Keio Plaza Hotel, Shinjuku, uh, we have a pre-congress course uh, May 8, Wednesday, that will take place in uh, Ageo Central General Hospital, 40 minutes from Shinjuku. And hands-on seminar, we use uh, two uh, facilities, the Johnson Johnson Institute and Melatonic Innovation Center near Haneda Airport. So uh, you can spend almost one week. Registration starts in July and uh, close, I mean, um, abstract submission deadline at the end of November. So visit, visit our homepage, and this is the day, day view of Shinjuku, night view. Shinjuku is nice. Sometimes you can encounter Godzilla. And also, you, of course, you enjoy sushi, and ramen, and Kobe beef. This is a wild place in Shinjuku. Don't go there without your Japanese friend. <laughs> so, pre-congress course, May 8, a hands-on seminar, 11 Saturday and Sunday. So this is kind of a laparoscopic liver so surgical week. So we will welcome you all. Thank you very much for your kind attention.